Good morning. Chair. So I guess you didn't attend previous class, previous on my class on yes. Tuesday. Mm, yes. Sir. What happened to you? I mean, is there anything? I mean, you you feel sick or something? Um, yeah, I was out for finding new laptop that on that day, chair, but I didn't get it. Oh, I so, see. Yes, but, so how about right now? Um, is that right? Using the old one chair. Uh, okay. But I'm um I do I did the homework that you gave us. So I read. That's it. lovely. Yes, thank you. Hello, Elvin. Hello, chair. Good morning. Good morning, chair. I'm in go. Oh, never give up, bro. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Having a go? Hello? Yes, yeah. How is your day? Is everything okay? Yes. <laughs> Did you? Did you? How about your connection? Is it all right? Yeah, it's okay, chair. Okay. And uh, I think uh, the pre in the previous previous class, uh, your connection wasn't all right. Have you have you watched the recording video to catch up the lessons? Not finished, teacher. Uh, okay. Hello, A. Are you back in Yangon or yeah, in or Yangon? I'm Yangon. Uh, you are Yangon. How's the Yangon weather? How do you feel? It's really cold, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's really colder than other days, right? Um, like the the bed is really attractive. Uh, I can I don't want to get up right at, at a very early morning. And uh, yeah, I don't want to get up early to but uh, my yeah. is with me at uh, eight o'clock. Wow, eight o'clock. Oh, eight o'clock is not early, but I did with this weather, yeah, of course. I know your feelings a lot. Because you know, once I want uh when I went to a uni one university and you know one day that was a so cold, it's like maybe the the maybe the coldness is the strongest um, man these seasons, all the all the days than other days. So I trying to get up and then finally I give up myself and then I just lay on my bed and after the classes <laughs> like this. So I know I totally can relate to your feelings. Yeah, hello Nito. Hello there, Nito. Are you stay there? Mm -hmm. For a while. Okay, it's fine Nito. You, you may turn off your camera because of the connection. So. Can you open your microphone? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I think my students they're late because of the cold, because of the weather. Okay, the car and Algon. Hello there. Hello there. Algon. Is everything all right? Oh, is that is that the hunter room? Is that hunter room? The eight hundred guy. No. No. Okay. Hello, the car. So, are you back from the heaven? Uh, no. No yet. <laughs> okay. Hello, Lynn. Um, yes. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a great code. I have a dream. That's all you need. All right. You have a dream and that's all you need. So you are doing the my my homework in your dream and that's all you need, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So 
We no more wait for your friends and we'll just, they will catch up later. Now we're gonna go to the story. I guess I give you a homework, which is a reading, right? A reading, reading a passage. On page number, what is the page number? What is the page? On page number 45, have you read it? Okay. Maybe you answer me by uh, unmuting your microphone or you give me a gesture, okay? Because I don't, I don't know, I cannot know. I'm not an angel, okay? Yeah, not me ตาดอมีโลเยเสกเตยาจะกะลองดิเจมาติโหล่ะเออโอเคเออเนเนวะมุยาลีดิฮะล่ะโกงตาลีดิเลยเนเนปะเปียบ่เนาะดาหมดเ
which is like almost all of my class are in four days. So I was really sad about that because I have to, I have to be finished this Unix, but I will just see it if we can manage the time. Okay. Let's see unit five. Um, So in this unit five, now we're gonna see what we're gonna learn. So we're gonna focus on biographical writing, adopting a different viewpoint and register and no precise description. Oh, sorry, on precise description. So it's like exact, exact one, okay? We describe exactly. No, we don't describe about our visual, visual things. Okay, now we're gonna describe that. The things that is based on the facts, okay? And opportunity to write a formula letter. So clearly that formula letter is your, it will be your assignment later, right? And a job advertisement and, and then CV and some descriptive pieces. So as we already learned about descriptive writing, so we will do something for descriptive pieces. And, and you're gonna have to practice the new ways of forming sentences. So some new form, uh, sentence structure. Uh, we already learned about semicolon, right? So we're gonna learn some more about, about uh, structures in this unit. So you will see that other lives. So this is not our life. So other lives means uh, other people, right? Maybe uh, when we talk about the people, that will be famous people. Then it can draw your attention. Okay. So firstly, do you see? Do you see the picture? Like a black guy with the gray hair. Yeah. Do you know him? Yes, sir. Who is it? Who is he? Nelson Mandela. Yes, Nelson Mandela. Okay, so the man here is Nelson Mandela. And Nelson Mandela is a political uh, politician and he is from Africa, South Africa. Okay. Let's see. Uh, if you are not who you are, where would you like to live in and when? Okay, so that is, that is the question for you. Okay, so if you were not who you are, where would you like to be living and one? Guada kumho buso yine. Beniama, beniama, you are a beheteima, nijima the lady. Okay. So, our teacher would be niama dori hali with it. We're not who you are, do it. Our teacher would be niama where lo don't have, no? You are aware of it, don't I'm a cook, go be a door at Kajana, Chira, any condition, my son. I wear a little. Okay, no, if I were not who I am, no, I got my son. All right, teacher, Dinia, my was so much on when a public wear a little while as Russian, teacher, how your general is Russian, impossible. Oh, no, damn, currently impossible. Currently impossible condition nego yojana. Some impossible low a totally impossible condition. Nanada Napika in Ubarukala. Majao Pitin Uba, Nyao Pitin Ubra Chapula, the change yell pala. I look on the new social teacher what Thomas way, where net on the three tabuno. Bav to be a was them to wear net on and yet and past them. If I were not who I am, okay, let's talk about this. And this is the first question. So the first question is, if you were not who you are, where would you like to like to be being, living in one? And next is uh, write down the names of three historical figures who changed the world. Tell the class who, who they are and explaining why you choose them. So you don't have to write down three names. Three names is match, so just only uh, think about one name and then tell me why they are famous for, okay? Or why they were famous for. And next one is think of a living person you most admire and why. 
So you must admire and why, but do not say, say about your family members or the relatives, okay? It's like your dad or your mom. Okay, they are really admire person, but here in the unit, we're gonna learn about other lives, right? So, so you just tell me the living person. So living person, famous, and that you are admire. Three questions, right? So first one is, uh, where would you like to be living? So you may say the timeline, okay, in the past or present or then maybe 50 years later in the future, you may say anything. And next question is, so you think about, Sorry, think about one historical figure who changed the world. And three is so living. Uh, how can I say? So admire person who is alive and famous. So you're gonna explain uh, what uh, you're gonna explain me how in what way they are famous. Okay, so. If your connection is all right and open your webcam and let's discuss about these things. I share to everyone on the chat in order to catch up what question is, okay? Hello, you can't. If your connection is stable, open your webcam, please. So, what is F I G H R E S? Sorry, alive. What is figure? Oh, sorry, sorry, is my typo. F I think figures it means F I G U R E. Lean let me go stay there. Let me go here, no? And yeah. Galia, yeah, is, is, is your connection all right? Oh, are you using with a, with a PC or? I'm using with the PC. Mm. The connection is really ragging. Okay. And the car need to Hong Kong. Elvin to the A to two to two. No longer. Are you ready? You can. Is everything all right today? Yeah. What do you got up today? Nine o'clock. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Did you have a time to have a breakfast and breakfast and wash your face? Have you have you finished your breakfast? No. Not yet. Oh, you must be hungry. <laughs> that is good, yeah. okay. So please think about the questions. I write it down. Do you see? Do you see? Do you understand the questions that we are about yeah. to discuss? Yeah, sure. Mm. 
So if you don't understand, please ask me. Okay, I'm ready for, for you here. Lane, are you ready to answer the questions? No. Not yet. Uh huh. Are you back from your dream? Sorry, sorry, what do you mean? While you, while you, uh, I'm just kidding. While you are like dreaming with a pretty girl and, you know, I wake you up like Lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I am a nightmare, right? Am I? Not really, Chen. But a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. I guess Agon is ready to answer my question. Agon, is that right? I didn't. I'm not. I'm Sorry? Are you ready to answer the questions? I'm not ready yet. I'm still writing them down. Oh, okay. So just one to note that is one, all of you. When you are preparing for the questions and you don't need to write down everything, right? There's only the gist, it's fine, okay? So taking note is fine. Yanzo, are you ready? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, let's start with you. Okay, so where would you like to be living and when? Oh, so I, would be, I would like to live in Mars in the next 100 years. <laughs> okay, next 100 years. You are clever because, you know, right now, if you want to live live there and you'll be alone and you'll be very, very, find some difficulties, right? Big yeah, difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then um, think about one historical figure who changed the world. Oh, so I would say Adolf Hitler. So he mm -hmm. changed the world like very much, you know, like yeah. <clears throat> everything, including the Holocaust, the World War II, and he made a big mess around the world. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, so tell me one admired person who is alive and famous. Uh, it's like Elon Musk, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. When he was a teenager, like he wasn't like very rich. He was just like a normal guy. And his yeah. parents was like one rich too, yeah. So it wasn't his inheritance money, but uh, the money he made out of hard work, yeah. So yes. I really admire him and his work, sir. Yes. Thank you very much for your answers. It's really great. And then what's next? Who's ready? Hey, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so tell me please. Uh, where would you like to be living and when? I like to live in Hawaii. Like yes. 10 years. Okay, so in this present days or how many days, how many years later or before? Like 10 years. Like 10 years later. Later? Hmm? Okay, so think about one historical figures who changed the world. Uh, it's William Shakespeare, cause uh, he's introduced the novel, a great novel, and rise to the world. Uh, he changed the world of the party. Yes, it's interesting. Okay, so what is your, who is your admired person and who is alive and famous? Is uh is in his local yeah local women yes okay oh yeah yes yeah, I don't know if you say many things about her because she's the greatest and bravest woman in the world I think yeah yes okay and we're gonna also learn about Do Ao San Suji here in the test this is the test. Right, so they talk about the political leaders. Okay, thank you very much. And next one is, who is ready? Sule. I'm not busy yet. <laughs> okay, I'll go. I think you're ready. I'll go ahead to punish your problem. Okay, then Elvin. Elvin. Okay, one left. Okay. I don't finish yet. Who's ready to answer the questions? Lin. 
Okay. 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 Yes. So <coughs> yes. Would, yeah. Where would you like to be living? And Juan, do not say, please do not say me, heaven. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say you at heaven. In the forest, peace and in quiet. Wow. In the forest? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll live alone right now. Uh, okay. Right now, so in this present time. Okay, so think about one historical figures who changed the world. Um, George Washington. George Washington. Okay, can you tell me a little bit uh, about he signed the He signed the first United States copyright law, copyright law, appearing the copyrights of others. Yeah. Yes. And yes. also, yes. he made a November 26th or a National Day of uh, Thanksgiving. Mm, yeah, in US, right? Especially in US. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your answers. And so tell me one admired person who is alive and famous. Mm. I admire like uh, George Washington, but he's not alive. So, yes. Of course, that Dao San Suu Kyi. Okay. Uh, she's a brave woman. Yes. It's a very uh, hard a lot. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for your answer. Nito, are you ready? Yes, yeah. Um, I would like to live in Myanmar around the beginning of 19th century. And 19th century. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. For historical figures, I know I choose Alexander Fleming. Yeah. For number three, my most admired person in the world is Celine Dion. Celine Dion? Yeah. Okay. Why? Why uh why do you like why do you admire? Um because she is so strong and yeah. Yes. Yes, he just got a very beautiful vocal power, right? Vocal, yes, vocalist. Yeah, she is a very nice vocalist. Yes. Mm, now, sis, let me go. Where would you be living and one if you were not you? Uh, I, would, I would like to live in Ireland. In Ireland? Yes. Ireland? Why? I like uh, uh, living alone. You like living alone? You can live alone here in Myanmar too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you think about one historical figures who changed the world? Uh, the name for uh, history, uh, uh, low Bodan, change the history. No, change the work. Who? Say Lord Buddha, say oh, the world. Okay. Goes, so, uh, yeah. Uh, he's a uh, uh, special, uh, special teacher and yes, uh, honors the Buddhist. Okay. Yes, admire person alive and famous. I most admire person. Uh, person is my uncle. He is a daughter because he is a. Uh, but uh, of the of the master and uh, kind. Okay. I uh, yeah yeah. Thank you. But I told you that uh we don't mention about the relate relatives, and then uh family members. So apart yeah. from relatives and family members, who do you admire? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Are you thinking? Yes. Okay. 
So apart from relatives and family members, who do you admire? A life, that, that person has to be alive. It can be a, a, a famous, maybe a artist, or it can be anyone, maybe pol politician or businessman, it's fine. So wait a minute, I still think it. Okay. And for those who has finished uh, answering the question, you may proceed your reading from page number 64. Okay. Living underground. Okay. Like Nianzo, Lin, uh, Tule. So you are listening. Okay. You are listening. I have an answer. Yes. 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 Sorry. So you are listening. One, I am, uh, so they are the, your friends answer. And then at the same time, you may read the, the passage, okay? And who's left? Nika. Okay, let me go. I will skip this one and you think about it, okay? Nika. Yes, sir. So where would you like to be living and one if you were not you? Beach. At the beach? Yeah. Okay. And um, Juan, at this time or maybe uh, in the past or in the future? In the future. In the future. Yeah. So uh, think about one historical figures who changed the world. Who will be one historical figure? Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think he changed the world? Why, why do you? Uh, okay. So can you tell me a little bit about him? Mm. and Sorry? Yes. Yes. Can you repeat again, please? He plans my shirt and then the ten democracy and okay. I didn't get it, but I will just give this one for the sake of the time. So can you tell me one admired person alive and famous? Yeah, um, I'm not finishing yet. Thinking about this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Talia, so where would you like to be? And where would you like to live in and one if you were not you? I would like to live in UK in 1975 because like the fashion is really great at the time and also the food at the time are really like looks delicious I found on Google. Okay. And so one historical like, figure? Uh, it is Pythagoras. He invented math and uh, teach the humans how to calculate. Yes. So who is the admired person alive and famous? Uh, I think it's Zhou Aung San Suu Kyi because she is the best woman I've ever seen in my life. Okay, thank you very much. And next one is Lin. Lin? Hello? Are you there? Lynn, hello. Are you there? Can you unmute your microphone if you are there? Okay, who's left to answer the question? No one else. 
Oh yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay. 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 Um. Yes. It's just ask me first. Okay. Ask you first. Where would you like to be living and when? Uh, I would like to live in a world which hasn't developed modern weapons yet, like guns, and I got a knowledge of to evade guns in that situation. Okay. Great. So you like the weapons. Uh. Um. Okay. So one historical figure. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Oh. Uh, he, uh, he is famous for his social message of black, black pride and black resistance yes. to white domination to the U.S. Army. Yeah. So one admired person who is alive and famous? Uh, I think Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he has done many things for the uh, U.S. And like that, I don't know how, how why I admire him. Okay, thank you. And so, Sule, where would you like to be living? Um, Chair, I will be living in a countryside near Galore. Mm. Because I want to grow like in my own yard, like vegetables, like strawberries, avocados, and oranges. I will eat them. And I can see the coolness and read some books and have a nap in my own yard. And also, I want to produce wine as my own product. Yeah, my electric CD went off and I just came back right now. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll get you back later. So, uh, think about one historical figure, too late. Um, Chair Benjamin Franklin. Mm -hmm. Benjamin Franklin, yes. He is also the, one of the greatest inventors. Mm -hmm. He was an American polymath who was active as a writer, scientist, inventor and also a publisher. Yes. He was a founding of father and he helped to draft the Declaration of Independence and the US Constitution. That's yes. What. And yes. also he negotiated the 1783 Treaty in Paris adding the Revolutionary War. Yes. I think he's also the uh the the, the start inventor of the many ma printing machines. Yes, yes, he also a printer. Yes, printers. And uh, so, who is the admired person, alive and famous? Barack Obama. Okay, why? Because like he like in that time. White people criticized and condemned the black people, but he didn't give up and try hard his life and became a yes. like the first African American president of the USA. That's why. Right. Yes. So the last one, but not the least, Lynn. Um, yes. Yeah. So where would you like to be living and one? Chair, yeah, right now, Chair, yeah, I want to live in Miami. <laughs> okay. Um, so one historical figure, who is one historical figure, you know? Teacher, yeah, to be honest, I, I don't know too much about history, so I will just choose Bill Gates. Yeah. Yes. He invented Microsoft and the Microsoft is helping the wall with walking on office, yeah, many things much. Yeah. Yes, he's a, uh, the, one of the very famous operating system. He invented for a very famous operating system. Very yes. useful. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, can you tell me one admired person alive and famous? So obviously, oh. that would be Jeta on San Suji. She is really great woman and she has the kindest heart yes yeah okay gladly that we're gonna learn about heart too in this passages i did next test okay let's go to the lessons uh we are going lesson of course so we go to the passage now living underground so you see the title here living underground what does it mean yes all uh, yes, yeah. Okay, what does it mean, living underground? 
Oh, living underground. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how do you it, understand? Acha, uh, as I've like heard from like the history books, yeah, uh, he was like trying to get freedom and like serve as the first president of South Africa. So I think yeah, he was suppressed before, and like, yes. there were like many protesters against him. Yes. And, like the police was like also chasing him. So it was like his hard times, yeah. Yes. Yes. So living underground means like living unknown, right? And know by anyone or trying to be trying to live like secretly. Okay, thank you very much for your explanation, Yanzo. Now we you uh we're gonna read out loud the lines, okay, as usual. So for those who uh 30, I think more than 30, right? So for those who it is very, very short line, so read two lines, okay. So let's start with let's start with Alia. Living underground requires a, a size, seismic, yes, seismic. Psycho psychological shift. One has to plan every action, however small and seemingly insignificant. Yes, insignificant. Thank you. And Sulet. Next is Sulet. 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 Yes, yeah. Everything is innocent. Everything is questioned. And you cannot be yourself. You must fully inhabit whatever role you have assumed. Kelvin, one line. Uh, I I became a creature of the night. Oh, no, I no, work. No. I yeah, work yeah. keep to my hideout during the day and emerge to do my work when it be, when it became dark. That can't. Uh, I operated mainly from uh, how do I pronounce that? This word? is uh John and Spark. John and uh, Spark. But I will have I will travel as necessary. I stay in empty flats in people's house, wherever I could be alone and inconspicuous. Inconspicuous. Conspicuous. Yeah. Okay. Nito. Although I am, I could be, although I am a green. Yes, gregarious. Gregarious person. person. I love solitude. Solitude. Solitude even more. I welcome the opportunity to be by, by myself to plan to think to plot. Time to go. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, which paragraph are you there? Didn't you catch it? Second paragraph, last line. Oh, yes, sir. I, oh, but one. Yes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but one yes. can, but one can have too much. Uh, solitude. Solitude. Yes. Proceed to next one, Sanas, please. I was. I was a uh, terribly lonesome for my wife and family. Uh, yes. All? Yes. Two lines. Yes. It's a very wild. Hmm. Third paragraph. Other paragraph. Uh, the key line, to uh, be, uh, uh, yeah, the key one? to be. Yeah. Yes. The key to be underground is to be invincible. As a leader, one often seeks prominence as an outlaw. The opposite is true. Okay, Lane. Lane. Lane, yeah, maybe. <clears throat> On underground, I did not walk as tall or stand as straight. I spoke more softly with less clarity and distinction. Okay, sorry, finished. 
Hello, A. Yes, uh, I was more passive, more and you but I did not ask for this, but let people will tell me what to do. Yes, Nito. Um, I did not say it all, but I have finished the game. Hmm? Are you have finished? Yes. Who's left then? You can't. Yes. Yeah. Um, I did not say it or cut my hair. And um, my most uh, uh, you, uh, no idea. I do not. I did not work or stand afraid and people with me. I did not shave or cut my hair. I most frequent disguise. Um, I most uh, frequent describe uh, what a at a. Uh, uh, this is a chauffeur. Chauffeur and uh, she's of a. Chef of a. Grand Jam Pine. Yes. Um, One more sentence, I, please. I was wet and the blue on uh, all, all of the very world and often on uh, open world from uh, we, uh, Rimless? Um, uh, Classes? Classes, you know us. Um, Mazda watch. Mazda watch. T classes. Yes. Okay. I think we can go like one more round. Um, yes, all, could you please uh, continue the reading? Like two more sentences. Hello, Che. I'm back. Hmm. I don't know what is happening with my laptop, and now I just join with my phone. Okay. Because I am too too beautiful for your laptop. That's why the laptop cannot consist it. <laughs> Obviously, no, <laughs> Che. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what, uh, okay, can you continue the line, please? I mean, where, where, where are we now? I, I had a, yes, I will add the line. I had a car and I rode a Jeffers cup with, uh, with my overall something. Do you see? Um, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Do read. I have to start from there? Yes, you have to. Uh, I had a car and I wore a uh, cap first cap with uh, my over overalls. Uh, yes. The post of the chauffeur. Chauffeur was a uh, conven convenient. Convenient because uh, I could travel under the pretext of, of driving my. Master's car. Yes. Yes, all. Yes, all. The, 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 the whole paragraph. Would you please read the whole paragraph during those early months? You see that? Okay, A, could you please read the whole paragraph? During those early months, when there was a warrant for my arrest and I was being harassed by the police, my overall experience caught the imagination of the press. Articles claiming that I had been here and there were on the campus. Road blocks were in institutes all over the country, but the police were originally kind of empty headed. Yes, thank you. I'm gone. Could you read three lines more? Like for the, uh, the last paragraph, would I you read three from, lines? Yeah, I from last particularly about the country. I was with Muslims in the Cape, with sugar walkers in Natal, with factory walkers in Port Elizabeth. I moved through townships in different parts of the country, attending secret meetings at night. 
I would pop up here and there to the annoyance of the police and uh, to the delight of the people. Okay. Alia. There were many words and accurate stories about my experience in the crowd. People left to embrace stories of care. Who's reading? The member of Nail Escapes, however, which no one knew about. I saw it. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, and then who's who's it? Okay, Elvin, you just read this line, the last one. I, I, I was really in their mind, but I that was a that was a period. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I like I like you guys studying. Okay, so I would pop up here and Evan. Yes. Please read the line. Please read the passage until the end. I will pop up here and. Uh. I will pull up here and there to be an annoyance of the police and to be the life of the people. There are many words and accurate stories about my experience and the ground. People love to embellish tales of daring. I did have a number of male escapes, however, which no one knew about. Thank you. So you will see the words in bold letters, right? Like seismic, seismic. Uh, psychological, insignificant, assumed, operated, inconspicuous, gregarious, solitude. What is that? Uh, permanence, outlaw, distinction, and obstructive, obtrusive, and obtrusive, pretext, instituted. Embellish, okay. Do you know all the words here? I mean, uh, these four letters, these four words, do you know? Really? Okay, so, so when we learn about vocabulary, so I'm gonna tell you when we learn about vocabulary, there are two, three kinds of situation, okay? So the first one is, you know, you definitely know. In meanings and everything, okay? Like they are, they are parts of speech and meanings, you definitely know everything, okay? So for example, I say, if I say go, it is above, right? It is above, it is a present tense and then uh, you know the meaning of go, right? Move along. So uh, like this, these words are the words you definitely know, okay? And then next word is, you think you know, you are familiar. You're familiar, but you don't know in fact, okay? You don't know the exact meaning. You think you know that, okay? You hear, but you hear that, maybe you heard it maybe somewhere or you have seen it somewhere, but you don't know. And the last word uh, that is you, definitely, oh no. Okay, these words are the word you have never seen before, you have never heard it before, and you just see it right now. So this is, these words are definitely don't know words, okay? So these vocabulary, that like three steps vocabulary. And then, so for the word you are familiar and for the word you don't know totally, you have to find the meaning. At the time, you have to be memorized the dances or maybe the form, um, uh, the speech, part of the speech. Maybe is that now or above or, an adjective or an, an, an above, okay, you have to be recognized. And then you have to know the meaning exactly. Okay, you have to find for the meaning exactly. Okay, so, so these are the vocabularies. And then you have to, if you have a time, you should sometimes learn some synonyms of the word. Okay, that will be better. 
Okay, so in the words, in the, I think maybe next exam, we're gonna go with these things, you know? I just would like to know uh, the, the meanings, maybe like I will let you to check out the, the, the different meanings or, or synonyms or the, the verbal, that word, okay? Maybe some word. And then you have to find, uh, you have to find me the right one, okay? Like this. Because I want you guys to learn vocabularies. Because in this book, the vocabularies and the structures are really different from what you learned before. So I want you to be noticed about that. Okay. So have you already read this one? And finished? Finish. So if you have finished, for those who have finished their reading, so you have to uh, make the definition or find the synonyms of the word written in bold letter. Okay. So you can uh, copy the bold letter words here in your notebook, and then you you do that. You find definition if you don't know. If you look up in your dictionary, if you know, you you uh, you write down the definition of those words. Okay. Then take a photo, send it to me. I have to check it. So you can send from Viber because this some check is not okay available for the photo. Uh, so we are writing the meaning of this this was and send you to the fiber. Yes, yes. Teacher, do you need to write a it's like a sentence or just a main point? Yes, main point is okay. okay. And if you can do uh if you can find synonyms, please mention one or two synonyms. Okay, you don't have to write down synonyms, okay? You just only you give me the sign or maybe the arrow is fine. Okay.
if you do like this, like noting down the words, you firstly, you read the passage and then you underline the word that you are familiar with, but you don't, you are not sure for the definition or the, or the word that you don't know totally, okay? Then you copy all the words that then look up in your dictionary, okay? That will make you to save your time. Then one will copy and find in your dictionary and one will copy and find in your dictionary that will make you longer. If you are finished, um, please send it to me. Hello, Nianzo. Are you back? Okay. So what do I do now? I just like came back into the class. Yes, I saw it. Um, so you see the bold letters in the passage, right? Yes, sir. If you are, are not sure for the definition, you look up in your dictionary and check and write down the meaning and write down some synonyms. Oh, and then in your notebook and uh, take a photo and send it to me. So like all the words. Yes, if you know the definition, you just write down the word in your own definition in your own word. And if you don't know, you may check or look up in your dictionary. Then, uh, then you have to write down all the words, yes.
Have you finished? Guys? Almost here. Okay. Sure. All the words do I need to send that I don't know? Or yeah. only bolded words? <laughs> only bold words. I was saying no. Yes. Well, I have you sent it to me? Yeah, I'm taking picture. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll have you finished. So I'm still writing. I got the last one. Sure, there's also the words that I know, don't know, Jen. not only the bolded words. So. I see. By the way, Sule, so have you heard that uh, we have uh, one more holiday on December 21st? Who, or what do you mean? I didn't hear. Do you know that we have uh, one more holiday on December 21st? Tuesday. On Tuesday, yes, the gathering day. It's the gathering day? Yes, so yeah, I'm going to like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are going to the school like this? Yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> long, long birthday. It was long, long birthday? No, actually, long, long birthday was on Friday, but he changed the day for us. Oh, I see. Sure, how about you? You can come. I mean, I don't 
got the information yet, so I will manage it because I wanted to see you guys too outside. Yeah, I'll see you outside too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but you won't see some 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 student house because we are not from Yangon. Yes, where are you from, by the way? Uh the, actually Mandalay, yeah. Mandalay. In fact, you know, I know I know that Lamin Coco is from Mandalay, but I don't know you are from Mandalay. Really? I don't live in a, I don't live in a town chain, long time chain, like move in chain because of my parents are government. Yeah. Government staff? Yeah. Engineer, so yeah. Yes. I see. Um yes. In fact, I I really love Mandalay, you know, and I once I went there and then I really love it. And I even think of like visiting next time. I'm sorry that if you cannot uh involve in the in the gathering. Yes, so, Jay. <laughs> and <laughs> and then I think you were from Yangon. I thought that you were from Yangon. But by, by, by the time we introduce each other, did you say that you are from Mandalay? You are living in Mandalay? Did you did you say like that? Yes, Jay. I, I remember I, like Jay. I think we need to meet Jay. We go to the breakout rooms and introduce oh. each other, yeah. Okay. And I guess, uh, so Nyanso, where are you from? Oh, Yangon. Yangon? Yeah. 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 And how about Nikan? Nikan, are you from Yangon too? I think he's not from uh, Yangon. Uh, yeah. Where are you from? Dundee. Yeah. Dundee, oh, yeah. Yeah, as it. Dundee, um, it's Dundee is very, uh, not very far from Yangon, am I right? Yeah. Then I have visited there once. There are many gnomes, uh, um, how can I say, factory, I can say that. There and, you know, I have visited with the, with the, uh, how can I say, cruise ship. And they're also like very traditional, uh, traditional handicrafts, such as like the, the clay pot or maybe the kinds of the household things that's used with clay. So how about you? Where in Yangon did you live? I am also the northern part of the Yangon, which is little far from the the downtown. I am. I live in Chibita. We are a little bit far. Too. I live in Chibita. Where Where do you live? For the town here in. Chibita. Oh. <laughs> what is What is uh Tiza I Tiza I? I'm I'm thinking about that. Wait, what is his eye? I really don't know. Tazi. Oh, yeah. Tazi. Is Tazi in Mandalay? I've ever heard Tazi. Is this from Mandalay Division? I'm going to go. You may speak. You may speak. Yeah, I must speak. Ah. Okay, okay. Yanzo, where are you? Where are you? Hello, sir. Are you hey. sending? Ah, uh, yes, I was like trying to like write the meaning in my own words, that's why.
explain. So if you are in the, maybe in somewhere in Mandalay division, uh, Mandalay region, and uh, how long have you no, been no, staying No, not right now. Not yeah. right now. Okay. Where are you right now? Um, I think you might know that. Yeah. I'm in Nijian. Nijian? Yeah, Nijian. Yes, I know. It's, it's not very far from Yangon, but we, of course, we have you to... No, no, it's really far from Yangon. Jay. Really? Yeah, Jay. I think like over 400 miles. Mm. Four hundred miles, so that even even farther than Mandalay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I thought Mandalay is not very far. Oh no 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 no, no Jet. Mandalay is between Mandalay and Yangon, like that. Yes, yes, that's why. We have to take like three or four hours to to go to Mandalay, I guess. No no no, Jet. It take more than Jet. I have been Yangon too many times. Jay. It took more than Jet. Really? Actually, it's from like Mandalay to Yangon, so I don't know. Yingtian to Yangon. Yes. So, um, how long have you been staying there in Yingtian? Um, actually, one one month, I I guess. Yeah, one. Yes, month. one month. Yeah. So, uh, how Before about? that, I was in Nibir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, I think online education is good for you. <laughs> yeah. Or else, where did you go to school? Where did you go to school? One, one. My last school was in Mandalay. In Mandalay. Yeah. So you are, you are. Where is your birthplace? Place of birth. Mandalay. Mandalay. Yeah. So, that's so you are also Mandalay. Da. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and Nito, Nito, I don't receive your. Ah, uh, okay. The same Jolly than your left. Nito. Who's left? A, A, have you sent it to me? Okay, A sent send it to me. A has sent it to me. Nianzo, I'm waiting for you. Oh, and yes, so sir. does Lin. Hey, by the way, I just would like to know, this is just a, I just asked him, who gave you more homework than the, all the teachers? Okay, math, math, okay, that's God. <laughs> yeah, I think it's teacher to that. Hey, I don't give you like many homeworks. I just give like a very interesting one paragraph or three paragraphs like that, right? Am I homework too much? Am I giving you homework too much, guys? No, DJ, you're really uh, teaching about homework kid. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the math was a kid, many, many homework. <laughs> okay, I think maybe I'm more interested in that, so. Yes. That's why it is like, you know, uh, science and arts are, in fact, uh, we need to combine science and art, but usually people who are interested in science, they don't interested in interested in art a lot. Like languages are like related to art. In fact, I learned, in fact, I was learning science and I am using my arts. <laughs> I don't know what. In fact, I, was, I learned a lot about uh, mathematics and programming. Okay. Who's left? You can't. You can't, Jen. You can't. So, be worried, really. For those who have finished their work, so please think about Nelson Mandela's attitude to life while he was underground. And then uh, the character of Nelson Mandela and the kind of activity he was engaged in. Okay, so these three things you have to find out and then next for the next times, 
okay we have to go to the you know we say we you see the message and you uh, you read the message and you answer the question okay that is very simple okay now we are just put uh, we are trying slowly transferring to language art so you're gonna have to so you read the message and brainstorm yourself about the uh, you think about the overall message and then you have to take out some notes concerning with like some intelligent notes such as like here Nelson Mandela's attitude to life while he was underground and the character of the Nelson Mandela and think of the activity he was engaged. Okay, I received your your paper, Nianzo. Mm. Great. Great. Okay, so let's talk about it. So you have read the, uh, the, the passage or as long as you have read the passage, can you tell me Nelson Mandela's attitude? He was sent to the prison for 27 years, over 27 years. And he didn't give it, finally he became the first black uh, president in Africa. Okay, so can you tell me his attitude toward yeah, he his- was, <clears throat> He was a fun and active guy. And he, you, as you can see, Jay, he was like a prisoner for over two decades. So I can, we can say he's really determined and ambitious. Yes. And uh, as you can, uh, he mentioned that he wants to like uh, be happy and have fun. So yes. you can see he's also active, sir. Okay. Then if you, uh, so if you were Nelson Mandela, so will, would you change your, uh, change your directions because you know that you are dangerous and you, uh, you gonna get to the you like somebody you uh you are dangerous right you are doing the dangerous work and you're gonna get to the prison if they caught so you will proceed to your work or not no sir okay. I value my life more than others sir okay and next one with that too late can you tell me a little bit about the character of Nelson Mandela and if you if you are okay, so please mention the, his his personality. Um, sure. he's a courageous person, and also he also loved being solitude even more. Yes. Yes, yeah. Okay, but he also have to risk his life and uh, his family, right? So maybe he also risk the the duty of like taking care of the family. So if you were Nelson Mandela, you would risk your family to do that job? Mm, exactly not. Because exactly not. They, uh, I think for me, my family is the most important thing to my life. Okay. Can you, uh, so have you already read the whole passage? Have you already read the whole passage? No, okay. Not yet. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about Nelson Mandela as far as you know? Maybe his attitude toward his work, uh, and his politics. He's uh, active guy. No, he's never give up. Yes. I think he's a funny also. He's funny also. Okay. Yeah. Alvin, can you tell me a little bit about Nelson Mandela character? Uh, he is a, a a kind of leader and yes. a really uh, yes. a leading person. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. He's a great leadership. Okay. A, hey, so can you tell me Nelson Mandela attitude toward his life? Uh, is it is in paragraph? Yeah, by reading the paragraph, you just uh, gave the note about Nelson Mandela attitude. 
as far as you know, you don't need to be definite. How do you think about him? How do you think of him? Uh, I think he's a really great. Uh, he's a really great thinker, and he his plans are good for the people. I guess. Yeah. I mean, his thoughts are really help to other people. Yes. Dalia. Dalia, are you there? No? Okay. So I'm gonna show you this one. So in the movie, uh, so if you are interested in Nelson Mandela and you can, you may watch a movie about his biography. Uh, by the way, you know, I skip one part that is uh, about his autobiography and biography. So what is the, what is the difference between biography and autobiography? Do you know? Okay, so autography are the are usually the subject but itself himself or herself they write their about their life okay the biography is somebody who study about some somebody who is famous and uh, famous in several fields and then uh, famous in various fields and then they uh, they write about their life Okay, this is biography. So if we say biography, it means written by other people. And if we say autography, they write about their stuff. Okay. So this is the movie Invictus. So this is the movie, very famous one. And then you will see the, the, the actor here. I don't remember his name in fact, but he is a very famous one. You may know that. You may see it in lots of movies, right? Like, catch me if you can know something. And you may just find out about this information and you know many movie links you can available, right? Maybe on, uh, where is it? On uh, Telegram or somewhere and you, you may download it. And then, you know, there is a word he told in his movie. This is like, I'm the master of my fate. I'm the captain of my soul. So while, while he was in the, in the prison and he talked about these words, Okay, so it, this is according to the movie. I don't know if he actually talked about this war or not. Yes, this is a very famous quote of him. And then, okay, so that's all about today. That's all about today. And tomorrow we're gonna proceed to the life of a Nobel Peace Prize literate, uh, literate, so I'll say Suji. Okay, we got lots of. Oh my god, I have to take. I have to take the note while we are skipping. Okay, any question because I with the lessons today. I no more give you homework, but you have to submit the homework, okay, which you haven't done, okay, or which you was like a little round in the previous section, okay. So I, I don't. I know that I uh, just only, I received the class homework back, but some sort of guys, you know, who haven't finished or some sort of guys who have finished, but they just got the wrong writing style. They have to be, they have to correct the style again, okay? Okay, so for those who I commanded, they are all right and it's fine, okay? So no more new homework today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Bye, Chair. Thank you, Chair.